okay now this is my worksheet which uh, i have downloaded from SciSpace or you can uh, download it from illicit.com uh, this is basically literature table which i have created and i have used different columns to uh, extract the information from the pdf files which i have uploaded uh, for this illustration i have, have extracted data from uh, 50 research article as i mentioned in the previous video so you can see these are uh, this is the data for from 50 different research articles and also the data is presented in in form of the column which i have created uh, for my data set so i'm interested to find out what are the different themes of the research based on the context this is my context you can see that i have different columns which i have added uh, in elicit as i illustrated in my previous video so this is theories sample context okay so we have a sector so i have uh, included different columns from based on my a research area so uh, these are these column can be the basics for uh, different thematic development for my research uh, article or systematic literature review article so these are different contribution limitation literature survey methods used okay so there are different categories available and uh, these different columns actually you have seen in the previous video extract the information and develop theme based on some common standard for example measured outcome sector theories so all these are different possible options so and look into uh, the next step how we can extract information from this theme uh, from these uh, columns and uh, create different themes using power drill so here I am at power drill now so I'll just continue with power bills uh, power drill start uh, this application and it will give me opportunity to select one of these features so I'll be using this feature which is called advanced analytic so I'm using this feature for uh, uploading my data so click on the advanced analytics and it will give you opportunity to work with existing data or you can add your own new data set so i will be uh, working with a new data set which is my excel sheet which i want to download so you can use uh, excel sheet or any other file or also you can use uh, sql database so i'll select this and data save with the name of size space file dot xlx because it is a uh, excel file so I upload uh, I have selected this file and click on the upload file now my data is being uploaded now this is the time to ask question about your data and use this data analysis analysis feature in order to extract the theme and any other information uh, this data analytics or data analysis feature is not just limited to uh, theme extraction it can it can do anything like any sort of the data analysis can be conducted with this uh, data analysis tool so i have already created this query so the uploaded file is a literature review table for ai risk management in the global supply chain chain create themes based on the applications of ai in risk management in the context of global supply chain also uh, provide a framework for the use of AI in risk management and in a global supply chain context based on the literature. So this is a simple prompt. I copy this prompt, but I created this prompt based on the 4C formula, which we are using for this uh, course and also all uh, literature review or any other process in which we can interact with the AI tool more efficiently. So click on this next button. Now system will automatically start analysis and it will analyze the query first and then will start search and then respond uh, to our query and finally it will give us the, the finding because it is giving you the tables, it is giving you downloadable files and also uh, the source code of all the analysis which have been conducted it means that you can copy and paste this code in 
uh, Python and you can get this uh, similar sort of result. So it means that it is purely a scientific method of analyzing data. It is just like any other data analysis tool. Okay, now um, the system have already developed a few themes for me and we can work within uh, these themes now. But let's, let's just try to understand how this analysis works. So when I given this prompt, the system started analyzing the information and extracted and categorized the key themes related to application of AI in risk management within the global uh, supply chain context and method use and practical implication column. So technically these three columns were used to extract this information or extract the theme. So if you feel this method is okay, then you can continue with this uh, output. But if you want to change it, I will show you just uh, later how we can change this information and use any other column to uh, create different themes. So for now, it, the themes are being created on the context, method used and practical implication. So let's continue. Uh, this is the, the code, Python code through which this uh, data has been extracted. And this is the result you can uh, download this CSV file from here or view this CSV file from here and then once this network is being created uh, develop a network for use of AI risk management supply chain context by synthesizing information for conclusion method use literature survey and practical implication column so it is also using all these columns the remaining columns and trying to create uh, a framework so this is uh, uh, conclusions, uh, synthesized methods, synthesized literature, synthesized practical implications. So similarly, you have opportunity to download this information. And then again, it is providing you a, a visual information. You can see that this is a, a word cloud. And also, again, the conceptual diagram of the flowchart represent the synthesis framework a synthesized framework for AI use in risk management within the global supply chain context. So this is another we, uh, picture which shows different steps of uh, AI using usage of AI within uh, the context of global supply chain risk management. So the first step is data collection, then data processing, AI model training, risk evaluation and decision making. So it, it all this information, it makes sense because uh, it is giving me almost uh, the similar information which I wanted to use. Uh, now that the key themes in AI application for risk management in global supply chain, the first one is uh, support service supply chain risk evaluation. So uh, first key theme is supply chain risk evaluation, which in the context is research emphasize the importance of evaluation uh, of evaluating risk specifically within the sports service supply chain, utilization of uh, fuzzy comprehensive appraisal algorithms to process risk evaluation. So all these are different uh, information from a uh, theme one. Then we have theme two, AI driven supply chain risk management. So it's also a comprehensive theme which gives me um, the following information. So you can uh, understand uh, this information is quite relevant to uh, the topics we studied and then the third one is uh, integration and in, of emerging technology so how e ai is e integrated with the emerging technologies in order to uh, perform a better risk management so this is also very interesting theme and i believe it's very much relevant to uh, the integration of ai with uh, risk management so similarly uh, it is giving me a, a little bit information about the context methods and practical implication these are three different columns which are being used for developing this theme and then we have supply chain risk management strategies uh, this is also similar thing and i i believe it's it's, it's give me a very accurate information okay so this is the the four themes which have been extracted from the literature and then next uh, because i asked this uh, uh, data analysis tool to provide me a framework which technically a synthesis of all literature and uh, give me a, a stepwise framework or the framework which i can apply on um, uh, risk management in global supply chain 
uh, with the utilization of uh, AI technologies or uh, AI. So it gives me this framework. First, we need to collect uh, data. So generate relevant data from various sources within the supply chain. It means that it is giving me uh, the first step. I need to create a data point uh, uh, through which we can just collect information from the different sources within the supply chain. Then we need to generate different models uh, to process this data. Then we need to train our AI models and then uh, this AI model training uh, in literature, uh, it also gives me reference FCA, linear regression, deep learning and CNN networks, which I believe is uh, already presented in the finding of my literature. Then we need to use some AI model uh, or evaluate the risk, man, uh, risk involved in any supply chain processes. So this is a risk evaluation. And then finally, decision making based on the AI algorithm. So these are five steps of risk management process in global supply chain with the integration of AI. The data analysis is not just giving me the theme, but it is also synthesizing the literature. Uh, analyze the theme and then I have also analyzed the, the framework uh, which can be proposed after my research from the systematic literature review. So this is a simple way of working with within uh, power drill. But now let's let, let's say if I want to create the same uh, theme, but based on uh, maybe a different column, let me we want to work on the method used only okay, and create the themes. The, again, I copied that prompt. Now this time key themes based on the applications of AI in risk management in the context of global of the global supply chain using uh, the column method used. Okay, so and now I specified column from which I want to create these themes okay so that is another possibility before this I ask AI to select this column from where they need to uh, create the theme or segmentation or clustering of the literature now I ask AI to use this specific column and then create different themes based on the method used in the literature you can see the system is giving us a few very important uh, options but let's study uh, the output first so you can see that analyze the method use column to identify the key themes related to a applications of ai in risk management in global so this is the the uh, python code and this is the information you can download this data and uh, based on the analysis of the method use column provided data following key themes uh, related to the ai applications uh, in risk management within the supply chain uh, global supply chain have been identified so you can see the first one is ai technology for risk evaluation and management here risk evaluation we can use ai technology and we can use fuzzy comprehensive appraisal algorithm so uh, this is one method okay so another is advanced predictive models this is another method which have been used for assessing the risk in supply chain global supply chain so linear regression linear deep learning and uh, so this is another theme predictive uh, models and then we have real modeling uh, real time monitoring and tracking like internet of things and all this and then we also have a cognitive mapping and case reasoning this is another uh, literature uh, theme emerge theme based on the these are important themes which emerge from uh, one specific column okay so you can specify if we want to base uh, this uh, segmentation based on the method we can do that if we want to use sectoral uh, thematic development that is also possible because i have a column for sector so that depends on your choice how you uh, analyze this information but please make sure you are clear about your research question because the method you are using for thematic development is largely dependent 
on your research question. So if your research question is about to identify the different sector where AI is being used, then in that case, I need to develop themes based on the sector and similarly other information uh, need to be related. So this, uh, this is a simple information which have been extracted from thematic development using uh, power drill.